Today seemed like a really good day to make a video about some new things. We have new things. Who doesn't like new stuff? I, I like new stuff. I like new stuff a little too much. So I have a gig tomorrow and I was packing things up and I figured it'd be a good time to show off some new stuff that we have here at the shed for the production side of things. We got some new lighting, we got new, we got more speakers which is awesome. And I have to pack everything up for this gig tomorrow. We're gonna do a wedding band, it should be fun. So as usual, I'd like to vlog that experience. And also I feel like today's a good time to just talk live sound stuff because why not? Uh, but first I gotta go get a package from the mailbox. So with new, with new things coming in to the inventory, naturally we have to get more new things. <laughs> you know, you buy some lights, now I gotta buy some cables and some more cases and just all sorts of stuff. So we have more packages. Amazon loves me. I know what you're all gonna tell me, that I should have just made my own, but I was lazy, so I just bought some. A couple of short PowerCon jumpers. The reason why I got a couple of these is not for the lighting, it is for, sorry, it's totally messy in here. Look at this. We got two more, two more HDL6s. Beautiful. Two more of these beautiful RCF boxes. Now with, with those two new additions, we actually have six modules now. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be, be thick. <laughs> it's gonna be beefy. We got the other two in the case here, packed and ready, kind of. Gotta put some more stuff in that box. The other new addition is some more lighting. <clears throat> Instead of a road case, I opted to buy one of these things, which are just, I don't know, this Amazon brand. Um, not a Pelican, because Pelicans are crazy expensive. Should do the job. Was it cheaper than buying two road cases separately? because the two road cases were gonna be a couple hundred dollars more than one of these cases, so I try something different, right? This case still had wheels and the overall dimensions were actually smaller than buying two of the larger traditional road cases for these new lights. Ta-da! So there we go. We got four moving washes. So these are actually from sheds and uh, shame me all you want, but these are, these are just super affordable lights and they work, okay? I can't afford a thousand plus dollars per light fixture at my level. So these things are just, they're just great. And for what they do, they, they look fantastic for the money, I think these were like 250 bucks a piece and you, you just can't beat it. You can't beat the Chinese lights and these ones have power con in and out, which is great. You can't, I don't have to worry about IEC cables. I can link them all together. Right? So no shame at all for me for buying these, these lights. And again, it's Shed's brand. I'll throw a link for them below. So these are actually these are actually zoom washes. So this, so these lenses move in and out of the light to give a, a more focused beam or it'll like give you a more wash look. So they're kind of multi-purpose. And then also they have the two axes of movement. So you can, you know, rotate them and, and move them just like a traditional moving head. So that's the one new big exciting thing is the new lighting. And the, and the new RCF additional boxes. So we have those, and in here I'm, I'm packing things up. I have the, the 
par lights, which are also Chinese pars from Yuking. I wish I would have seen the Sheds ones first because the Sheds ones actually have have power con in and out, un, in, unlike these, which are IEC. So this kind of sucks, but they still work great. And these were like 60 bucks a piece and they work fine. These were my first lights. So I didn't have anything and I needed something to get the job done. And he's got the job done. Also amazing packing. <laughs> I don't have a case for him yet. So you gotta take free over, over something sometimes. And then these moving bars are also Shed's brand as well. I think Rockville makes a couple of these. And again, cheap Chinese lights. These are 150 bucks a piece, but they look super cool for, for what they are. And I'm not, I'm not at the level of needing high dollar fixtures. I'm not trying to fill big riders or anything. And again, PowerCon in and out, super fantastic. So Shed's brand. Definitely, definitely recommend them and they'll replace stuff. If you buy, if you buy things and it comes broken or whatever, they'll just send you a new one because it's China, I guess. <laughs> the other new thing we got here is these combo cables. So you have PowerCon and DMX in and out for linking all the lighting together. So that just makes things even easier. So the goal is I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put those four moving washes up on some truss behind the band. We're gonna link them together with those cables and we're gonna have some nice backlighting that is moving, gives some awesome looks to the stage. So I actually had to borrow some truss from the company that I work for during festival season. So here in this little side room that I never show is, is a couple of sticks of truss as well as my subs. And then I have, I have the crank towers in the trailer already. So we're gonna have fun packing the trailer, this little five by eight trailer, whatever it is with all sorts of crank towers and truss and cases. And it's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty full. The next thing on my to-do list is gonna be taking this rack out or the, the, sorry, the copper split out. I gotta take this copper split out one more time because I gotta put my sub amp in and I just don't have powered subs yet. So I got to put this PV amp back into, so I got to put this PV amp back into the rack. This place is a mess right now. There's like so much stuff over, over here, but that's, apologies for the mess. Lots of cable sorting to do. This is why we're taking this out, because I don't want this sitting around at the gig tomorrow. How full is this thing? It's really full. <laughs> really, really full. That's what she said. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, we got this thing pretty packed today. I don't know how much more weight I'd want to put in this trailer. All right, so I think I think we're gonna set up everything that we can set up that can get wet first, like the towers. Me. <laughs> I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> you look really good on this. Wow.
Yeah, we'll lay it out on the deck and see if we have enough to go across the back or if we'll have to move the stage forward. So we're getting a little sprinkle here, but it's only one cloud. So hopefully this is all we get. I don't know how this one works. Oh, there. That's how it works. Nice, smart. Lock, unlock. Nice. Well, this sucks. Um, I think we should get in the car. No, we'll be fine. Getting it. Put here to record a struggle with this. So go DMX out to DMX in, DMX out to DMX in, DMX out, and the power count. So it'll go um, white, blue, white will go out, blue it goes in. Yeah, just, just get up and fill all Well, that's awkward. The music stops when the video starts. <laughs> <laughs> so we have everything set up behind me here. The only thing we got to do yet is raise the truss in the back and test the lighting. But the rig is wired up and we're all good. This band has uh, they're self-contained, so that's super nice. They all run their own in-ears, and I don't have to do any wedges. We don't have to do any monitor mixes. It's all them, so it makes everything really nice. So we have all the lighting up, the new, the new moving washes, and we have these movers in front. And we have these cars in the front for the front lighting. And they're really short, but those are that's all the stands I have, so it's all that's what it's gonna be. But it should work out pretty well. We also have three three RCFs up today. So the first day using all three boxes. Oh, I definitely need subs. These little QSCs can't keep up. It's a little breezy today. We got the tower of power over here. We have our mix rack and then the band's two racks for their ears and their mixer as well. So what's happening is they're pinning everything into their stage split and then they have one set of tails going to their rack and then the other set of tails it's going to my rack. So they have their own mix, and then I have my own mix for front of house. So we have the mains on one circuit, we have the subs on its own, their own circuit, and we have lighting on their its own circuit as well. So that's the setup for today. This is the basis setup. This is kind of interesting. It's a little Mackie tower for the base rig. Sounds good. So 
we're gonna set up the lighting computer over here in in uh, side of house, right? Is that what side we called it? House. Side of house. <laughs> so we'll be over here. Mimi's gonna Mimi's gonna learn some lighting today, I think. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Just press the buttons and make them go. <laughs> press the buttons and make it look pretty. Yeah, there That's you go. That's the goal. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Yeah, it'll look even cooler with that back truss raised up. Got a little dirt on my boots. <laughs> uh, so this one ended really uh, short. Unfortunately, it started raining and uh, we packed everything up. It started lightning and everything. And so we had to rush and get everything packed up uh, way early, unfortunately. So it was kind of a bummer, but also not too much of a bummer because we get to go home early and we still got paid. So <laughs> I got injured. <laughs> but somebody broke a nail <laughs> no it was it was honestly a good show the new lights worked really well and the line arrays worked really well i definitely need more subs now though the subs the two single qses cannot keep up with those rcfs at <laughs> all <Subs>. so <laughs> so um let's see what else can we say on the road again Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you too. Thank you. Got a Culver's room. The Culvies. Culver's. Culvies. 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 Okay. All what, right. What, so what? until next time, that was another gig vlog. Definitely an interesting one. We have a little dirt on our boots now. <laughs> Got a little dirt on my boots. No. Bow, 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 bow.